when the graph of functions are given, then we can find for the limit of this uh, particular function. We call it as a graphical analysis of limits. So for example, we have this graph of a particular function. Let's say this one is function g of x. So how do we understand graphical analysis? It, it is all about movement. Okay, so kunwari, kung it, ito ay negative 1. So here, let's say this one is uh, negative 1. Alamin natin kung ano ang nangyayari sa value of y habang nilalapitan ang negative 1 from the left and right. Okay, so you see, observe graph. So this one is the graph of a piecewise function. Usually ganito ang itsura ng piecewise. Observe also na kapag shaded, ibig sabihin kasama. And unshaded means excluded. Okay, observe yung horizontal lines. So ito yung y. 1, ito, 2, 3. And observe the vertical lines. Ito naman yung x. Okay, so, anong ibig sabihin kapag sinabi natin lalapitan mo, you're approaching 1. Dito mo makikita on the left, left of negative 1 ito. On the other side, you're approaching, x approaches negative 1 from the right. Okay, so, ano ang nangyayari habang nilalapitan ng negative 1 from left and right? And what also happens to the value of y? May I emphasize na kapag sinabi nating limits, sa y values tayo nakatingin. We are referring to the behavior of y while x keeps on approaching a particular value c. Okay. Okay, so dito, kunwari, mag-suggest tayo ng value of c. Let's say the value of C is negative 1. So, nandito ang negative 1. If you're going to evaluate F of negative 1, kung nandito ang negative 1, saka saan siya napapabilang? Is it here or yung nasa baba? Ito shaded. Ito shaded, ito hindi. So, ibig sabihin, dito napapabilang. Dito connected yung X that is equal to negative 1. Therefore, ang value niya, Saan siya nakalinya? Horizontally. Di ba nakalinya siya sa 1? So, ibig sabihin, may coordinates ito na negative 1, 1. Therefore, when x is negative 1, y is equal to 1. So, yan ang value ng f of negative 1. So, what happens to that function f of x as x approaches negative 1 from its left? So, ang ibig sabihin nito papansinin natin, if this is negative 1, ang kanyang left ay ito. Pag nilalapitan ang negative 1 from the left, saan papunta ang value ng y? Umakyat ba? Bumaba? Okay, there, there is no change, no? Walang nagbago. Papunta lagi ang y sa 1. Okay, hindi siya umakyat, hindi siya bumaba. So, 1 lang siya naka, naka linya. So, Limit from the left of negative 1 is negative, is 1. What about the limit of f of x as x approaches 1, a negative 1 from its right? Okay, pansinin naman natin ang right. Nandito ang right ng negative 1 on this part. Nakikita natin ang graph na ito. This is the graph referring to the movement of y values as x approaches negative 1 from the right. So, nakikita natin ang y dito na paakyat siya pero nag-stop at a particular number. Almost 2 na siya, right? It is almost 2. Now, according to the limit process, that number na nilalapitan ng y as x approaches negative 1 from the right is the limit. So, the answer is 2. Now, the two-sided limit the two-sided limit here, kapag wala na yung symbol plus or minus on top, ibig sabihin, you are referring now to left and right. So, limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1, which is two-sided. Papansinin lang natin ang left and right. Sa left, ang, ang limit ay 1. Sa right, ang limit ay 2. Ibig sabihin, dahil hindi pareho ang 1 at 2, they are not equal kahit nag-exist sila. So, the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 
does not exist. Okay? Now, let us suggest another number. Or before that, we can also observe na hindi kasi nag-connect ang left at saka yung right. They're not connected. So, ibig sabihin, iba ang pinupuntahan ng y sa left ng negative 1. At iba din ang pinupuntahan ng y sa, sa right ng negative 1. That is the reason why the limit does not exist. They do not meet. Okay? Let's have another number. Let's say, uh, positive 2. So, nandito ang positive 2. Okay? So, what is f of positive 2? Saan na papabilang ang 2? Dito ba o sa baba? Nakikita natin na ang symbol here, it is excluded, no? Pero ang symbol naman dito, included ang 2. So, ang ibig sabihin, this is negative 1. So, we have f of 2 is negative 1. Kasi ang coordinates dito ay 2 and negative 1. So, what about the limit of, what is the limit of f of x as x approaches uh, 2 from its left? Pansinin na natin ang left. Nandito ang left ng 2. Okay, saan papunta ang y? Anong value ng y ang nilalapit-lapitan ng, ang, to what value does y gets closer and closer to? The value is negative 1, right? Kasi papuntang y dito, it moves to negative 1. Therefore, the answer is negative 1. Okay, pansinin naman natin, what about the limit of that function f as x approaches 2 from the right? Pansinin natin ang right ng 2. This is 2. Nandito ang kanyang right. Tama? So, saan papunta ang y? Saan papunta ang y habang ang x ay papalapit na papalapit sa 2? Nagmumove siya papunta sa negative 2, right? Actually, hindi siya gumalaw. It is constant here. This one is a graph of constant, a portion, no? Constant function of this y's. Meaning to say, the limit from the left of 2 or right of 2 is equal to negative 2. Ngayon, pansinin natin ang left at saka yung right. Negative 2 is not equal to negative 1. Therefore, ang limit, the limit of f of x as x approaches um, 2, which is already two-sided, does not exist. Kasi hindi pa yung dalawa. Another, uh, if we have 1, x is equal to 1. So, nandito siya. Tama? At ano ang kanyang y when x is equal to 1? It is 0. So, f of 1 is equal to 0. Kasi ang coordinates dito, 1, 0. Saan papunta ang y habang ang x ay papalapit ng papalapit sa 1 mula sa left? At saan naman papunta ang f of x as x approaches 1 sa right? Okay? Pansinin natin ang graph. Kung dito tayo sa left, at papunta siya, ang x ay papunta sa 1 galing sa left. At nandito yung graph, saan papunta ang value ng y? It gets closer and closer to 0. Pagpunta tayo sa right, di pa paakyat naman ang values. Mula sa negative 1, umakyat ang value ng y, papunta sa 0. So it means to say, both left and right ay pareho 0 ang kanilang limit kasi pareho silang nag approach sa parehong point. At dahil 0 is also equal to 0 or itself, the two-sided limit exists and that is equal to 0. On the next example, mapapansin natin dito ang movement ng graph. Okay? So, dito mula sa y that is equal to 1, Bumaba ang graph at pataas, papunta ang y sa 2, at bumaba ulit papunta sa negative 2. So, when it comes to the graphical analysis of this one, pap Okay, so, dito sa next example, kunwari, ang, ang C natin ay 0. So, kung 0 yan, papansinin natin ang left and right of 0. Okay, so, nandito ang left ng 0. Sa kabila naman yung right of 0. Kasi nandito yung 0. Okay? Saan, anong nangyayari sa y when x is 0? So, what is y when x is 0? So, we have f of 0. 
nandito siya, di ba? Kasi nandito yung point. At anong y dito? y is equal to 2. So, f of 0 is equal to 2. What happens to the limit of that function as x approaches 0 sa left? Okay? So, dito tayo mag-focus sa left ng 0. This is 0. Nandito ang left niya. Okay? Saan papunta ang value ng y while x gets closer and closer to 0 from the left? Di ba paakyat ang graph na to? At saan siya papunta? Sa 2. Therefore, the limit of this function is equal to 2. That is left of 0. Ngayon, pansinin naman natin ang right 0. So, what about right of 0? Okay? Sa right ng 0 naman, dahil papunta ka naman sa 0 pero galing ka sa kanyang right, saan papunta ang value ng y? As to what value does y gets closer and closer to? Diba? We can obviously see na nag-limit yung left and right. 1 goes to 2, yung y sa left papunta sa 2, yung y sa right papunta din sa 2. Therefore, ang magiging limit sa right ng 0 ay 2. Ngayon, 2 is also equal to 2, then the two-sided limit is equal to 2. So, when x approaches 0, then y gets closer and closer to 2, the limit is 2. So, another, let's say for example, we have x that is equal to, this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. We have negative 3. So, if you're asked to evaluate f of negative 3, kitang-kita naman natin dito, so this is shaded. Therefore, you can have... Um, negative 3 to tapos 1. So, f of negative 3 is equal to 1. It's just pairing. It is just pairing between x and y. Okay? Tandaan lang natin na ang y ay f of x din. So, it is just plotting. No? So, what about uh, limit? Limit of f of x as x approaches um, negative 3 left. Left of negative 3. Nakikita natin dito na nakat ang graph at wala nang involved graph on the left of negative 3. It is clear enough na hindi nag-exist ang limit sa left of 3. So, the limit does not exist. However, pagpapasinin natin yung right ng negative 3, ang nangyayari sa y ay nilalapit-lapitan ang value na 1 sa y. Therefore, limit of f of x as x approaches negative 3 from the right, that will be equal to 1. And since 1 is not equal to the NE, or yung isa hindi nag-exist, kahit yung isa naman ay nag-exist, so ang ibig sabihin nito, ang two-sided limit when x approaches uh, negative 3, hindi na yan mag -e exist kasi yung left ay hindi nag-exist. Another, kung ang x mo ay 2, so, and you are going to evaluate f of 2, so obvious naman na nandito, no? Shaded, and that is negative 2. The answer is negative 2. Ang left niya, sa left naman, nagmove ang graph papunta sa negative 2 while x gets closer and closer to 2 from the left. So, when x gets closer and closer to 2 from the left, then y gets closer and closer to negative 2. So, the limit is negative 2. Samantala, when x gets closer to 2 from the right, well, hindi, wala na tayong nakikita ang graph on the right. So, walang na-involve na values of x on the right. So, ibig sabihin, hindi nag-move ang y. Walang behavior ang y. So, the limit does not exist. And since the limit on the right does not exist, then the two-sided limit does not exist also.